Hello, testing, testing, one, two, three. Hi, today I'm going to show you how to insert a group of still logos into your video using Adobe Premiere. Now these logos are, were rendered using Autodesk Maya, and of course Maya doesn't render the whole video, it renders logos, uh, sorry, it renders stills. The reason for that is, one, let me open this up to show you, the reason for that is, one, uh, when it renders stills, if the renderer fails, uh, if it were to render videos, it, the whole video would fail, uh, which is no use to you. Uh, this way, the stills you can always re just resume. So, for example, here's a frame one. I am pressing to go forward, and of course, it's not really going forward. Yeah, yeah. It will. It's just my video capturing screen, screen capturing program doing that. It will eventually go forward. Come on, come on, go forward, you piece of crap. Oh, come on. Oh, you can't be that stupid. Let's go, let's go. You gonna go? Let's go, let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, so here's our video. Okay, now, yeah, now it's run out of the thumbnails generation, so I'm gonna press a little bit slower. But basically, here you go. You've got the whole logo here. Okay. Yeah. Thank, thank you for the blinking. <laughs> now it seems to be on a white background, but actually it's got no background. This this is a backgroundless PNG, which is really great when you put it into your video. Okay. Here we've got altogether 250 frames, uh, all sequential. So 250, 249, 248. Sorry for counting backwards, but basically it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's close this window. Mm. Now, let me show you how to incorporate it into the Adobe Premiere. First of all, let's open Adobe Premiere up. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a HD blank 720 project here, which I made. I use it for nearly everything. Uh, okay, first thing we're going to do, because we're, in, we, we're incorporating uh, stills, lots and lots of stills, we are going into Preferences, General and see this still image default duration is 150 frames that's a lot so let's shrink that down to one yeah not surprising go to one minimize that grab this whole logo folder and drag it into the project plane project pain yeah try saying that quickly project pain project plane project pain yeah. <laughs> so that was importing <coughs> Importing, importing, come on. This is Alienware M17 XR4. Third generation Intel processor, i7, blah, blah, blah. You know, she's got SSD to boot. Anyway, let's have a look. Each one of these images is 1.6 megabyte, each one. And you can see the preview up here. So here we go. The reason why I opened this up is because I want to check whether the, the, the numbers are sequential, uh, you know, Macintosh, this is Adobe Macintosh program after all, and uh, sometimes it has a problem with things being out of sequence. Mm, I guess that's hippie, I guess, hippie way. So let's grab that and bring it down to our cutting plane. Now the logo, as you can see here, the block that I'm grabbing, that's 250 frames, and that's very tiny. Uh, somehow it's not surprising. Let me zoom in. Grab that. Zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. Bring it into frame. Now as I drag my mouse across, you will see how the logo plays. Okay. And that's how the logo is going to play out. Here we go. And as you can see, it's way outside the window. It's not way out, but it's out. Inward Path Publisher. It's hanging off the frame. That's no good. First thing we're going to do is grab everything, right click, scale to frame size. That'll fix it. Yep, that does. Now we'll do a test. Test play again, and here we go. That's our logo. Whoopie do. Now, as the logo plays, it kind of ends very suddenly, and we'll do something about that. But let me do something about that now. Let me zoom in. I'm pressing Alt holding down ALT and scroll wheel to zoom and what I'm going to do is drag that last frame zoom out and just drag it out even more right? and zoom out then drag it out even further right? 
Next thing I'm going to do is group everything. So when I do move this, I move it as a whole chunk. So let's group. Yeah. Now, Adobe or any other program that cuts videos, they have videos and layers. Now, the, the higher the layer is, is the video that sits on top. So let's drag our logo way up top. Okay, And you can even rename this and call it the uh, logo layer. Uh -huh. Okay rename that and call it main right now I have a video here to put on the background of this and it's the let me minimize that it's called the Microsoft Surface Tablet Keynote 2012 which is a tablet I'm going to buy soon drag that into the project pane oh, project pane god right bring it into the main cut and floor and I know that this video has a very loud music so let let me pull that down heaps okay now I'm going to qu quickly show you a test play okay yeah, so basically that it's a bit slow but as you can see each logo is quite big let me bring the sound up a little bit more do it again come on here we are Okay. So that's our video. All right. Now, right before the man starts talking, we should have this. We should have this logo in smaller size and reduced to somewhere on the bottom right-hand corner and a little bit less opaque than what it is now, which is how the, all the, the most of the professionals do it. So let's get to that. Say about here. I will click on that on that frame and I can't because it's all grouped so what I'll do is I'll hit alt and I'll click and that will isolate that particular frame just that particular frame here from here to here right go up to motion uh, I will put a time what do you what do you call that thing anyway you know what I'm talking about uh, I will add there right, opacity Position and scale <coughs> there, and about this far away, I will have the position. Sorry, I will have the scale down. Sorry, I've done this many times actually. The first time I did it perfectly, and my mum called, and that really ruined the moment. So let's make that 25. Yeah, a little bit smaller. Okay, all right. Now bring it to about there. And at this point, we like the opacity to be about 45. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now I like to do things in a very smooth way. So in the interpolation, the let's have that easing out of a scene. Yeah. So when the logo eases out, it, e it eases out. Okay. And these three, let's have them easing in. Right. I know I'm easing the opacity as well. It doesn't really hurt. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So by the time the guy speaks, the logo goes down there. Okay? And if you were to zoom out, because you have the whole video down there, you can actually just stretch this, and it'll keep that setting, that, that opacity and scale and size and position. Just stretch it out throughout the entire video, and there you have it. You have your logo. All right? Now, this is very rough, I know, but... Uh, I hope this ha this does help you when you when you go and cut your own video. So here we go. Let's do a test play one more time. He looks like Frankenstein. <laughs> All right, <laughs> thank you for enjoying this video, and I hope it does help you in uh, your logo making or logo I incorporating. All right, uh, and this is, of course, this is this logo is full HD. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Bye bye.